Hello everybody, this is Dr. Darak here, and today I am greeting you, both minions and non-minions alike, as I begin my review of the Necromancy mod here in-game in my Attack of the B-Team survival world. Played 100% survival with no cheats in an attempt to explore all of the mods that this mod pack has to offer. This mod pack's really fun, and if you haven't tried it before, you should definitely do so. Before we start, I'd like to remind you that if I, if you like my video, leave a like, share it out, share it to your friends, let your friends enjoy my video as well. It really helps me out. So, to get started with the Necromancy mod, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a bone needle. And a bone needle is made out of bone meal. Just one single bone meal. Here, hang on, let me show you. Uh-huh. Yeah, where's my bone meal? Uh, 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 there it is. Okay, so, bone needle is made out of one bone meal, just like so. And you can just turn your bone meals into bone needles. That's three bone needles per bone item. And what you need to do is you need to grab yourself a bone needle and a glass bottle and you've got to go extract some blood from something. So I'm just going to come on over here and I'm going to right click these cows, right click these cows, left click, left click the cows, alright. And now I've got myself a jar of blood and that is something that's really important that I'm going to need for this mod. But first, before I go into what you're going to need the jar of blood for, I want to show you an alternative method for getting blood. So I'll be right there in a moment. Alright, so here we are in the Hall of Minions, and I'm headed on my way to the Nether now. And this mod adds a structure that generates out of the lava pools in the Nether, and it is called a Blood Chalice. And um, I happen to know where to go to find one, because I stumbled across it during my last video, uh, while I was searching for some Nether Wart in that Nether Fortress right over there. And uh, if you haven't seen that, you can click boom right there and it'll take you right to that episode so I'm gonna go ahead and turn into a bat so I can fly and come on down here and catch on fire apparently and I'm gonna show you how to get blood out of a blood chalice uh, blood chalices if you can't fly can be a little bit difficult to get to although this one is not really it's supposed to spawn in lava lakes but this one appears to have spawned in a lava lake through some land terrain so, um, you know, it, it spawned a little bit weird, I guess. But up here is the blood chalice. And all you've got to do is grab yourself an empty bucket and scoop out a bucket of blood. Isn't that lovely? Just buckets and buckets of blood. So there's a ton of blood there, and uh, if you can find one and get access to it, it should remove your need for the bone needles, for the most part, for gathering blood. So it can be uh, quite a boon to your blood gathering um, arsenal. So the next thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to make a couple of things with this blood. The first thing that I need to make is, well hang on, let me go grab this jar of blood real quick. The first thing that I'm going to need to make is the Necronomicon. And the Necronomicon is just a book full of uh, the secrets of necromancy. And you're going to need it to make an altar with to summon your minions. So, I'm going to come in here, and this is pretty much the crafting recipe last time I grabbed some nether wart for this. That's what took me so long. But uh, the glass bottle's not right. You need a jar of blood there instead. So, there is your Necronomicon. And, like I said, you're going to need that to make your altar to summon your minions from. And if you have a bucket of blood, all you've got to do is surround it with glass bottles. I believe the recipe's actually shapeless. Just a bucket of blood and eight glass bottles, any shape. Um... And so now I've got myself a whole bunch of jars of blood. And the next thing I need to do is make myself a blood scythe. And you make that just like this with an obsidian and an iron hoe, a stick, and a jar of blood. You'll get your blood scythe with plus six attack damage. But there is an upgraded version of that scythe as well, which is the one that I would like to use because, you know, I don't do anything half-assed. Uh, so I'm gonna grab myself an obsidian and a diamond. I think there's one more thing. Hang on. Let me check the recipe real quick uh, So you Okay, uh, bone. Okay, so I'm gonna grab myself a bone real quick And I'm gonna make myself a bone scythe, which is the upgraded version of the blood scythe It is more powerful by plus two attack damage and you make that just like this your obsidian your blood scythe 
your bone and your diamond. And that'll make a bone scythe, which is slightly more powerful than a diamond sword is by default, unenchanted. So that's not bad. And now that I have myself either a bone scythe or a blood scythe, the next thing that I'm going to need to do is harvest up some souls. Because, uh, you know, how are you going to... How are you gonna make yourself new minions without souls to put in their bodies, of course? So I'm gonna grab myself some of these glass bottles here and run on out to my cow farm because, of course, I'm gonna brutally murder cows. Duh. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hop right in here and I'm gonna kill this cow. And you're gonna see it's got a really nice particle effect with, like, smoky skulls that says, Ah, oh, you've harvested my soul. So I'm gonna just uh, take down some of these cows real quick, you know, get myself, let's see, I think I have um, seven jars of blood, so I'm pretty sure, die, pretty sure I'm going to get myself seven uh, souls in a jar, so I've got seven soul in a jar, that's right, yeah, seven, seven jars of blood, seven souls in a jar, and now I'm going to show you what you need to do after that. The next thing that you're going to need to do is make a sewing machine for stitching body parts together. And in order to do that, you're going to need uh, seven iron ingots. You're going to need some bone needle, one bone needle, and um, there's something else. Uh, I think it's a string. Is that right? Yeah, it's a string. Okay, so I'm also going to need a string. And all you've got to do is put them together in a crafting recipe just like so. Your bone needle to the right, your string in your middle end, the iron ingots all around. And there now you have a sewing machine. A little bit anticlimactic, not quite as creepy as I would like, but sewing machine. Woo! So I'm going to fly on out here to my lovely um, altar to the undead that I have built uh, outside, as you can see. And... Let's just put this sewing machine down, and let's click on it. What's in here? What the heck? I've got a 4x4 crafting grid, and these spaces, and this thing over here, and I'm so confused. Okay, so I have gone out and grabbed the rest of my materials that I'm going to need. Made some more bone needles. So you need bone needles in here, just like that, and string just there, and... The first thing that you're going to want to do is grab some leather and turn it into skin. Sew it together into pieces of skin. And I'm just going to make myself a stack of 64 skin here real quick. Um, so that I make sure that I have enough for this demonstration. And the next thing that I want to do is show you how to make all the different body parts. You're going to have to make a head and a torso. And you use these heart, lungs, brains, muscles. Use all this stuff in that as well as skin, bones, and a piece of whatever mob you're making the part out of, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I, I believe I'm going to do a head first. Uh, so what I want, what I want my head to be, um, let's just go with, yeah, let's go with the ink sacks for the head. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make a head shape out of my skin and I'll show you how to do this you just put your skin all around in this shape like this and ignore the top row and then you put in two spider eyes for eyeballs just like so here and here and then you need some brains and then the last little space that's open there you fill in with whatever you want to make your body part out of in this case a head so I'm gonna put in uh, let's just put in the ink sack and make the squid head. Yeah. So there's a squid head for you. If I take the ink sack out and I put in string, you'll see there's a cave spider head. If I put in a spider eye, you'll see there's a regular spider head. Um, leather? No, I guess it must be raw beef. Raw beef? Yeah, there's a cow head. Raw chicken for a chicken head, etc., etc. So it's really easy to make all that stuff. Um... But I'm going to go ahead and put in my ink sack and make myself my squid head. Um, you'll notice that it does consume a piece of string and a bone needle every time you make something on the uh, sewing machine. So there's my squid head. And now the next thing I want to do is make the torso. So let me just grab all these other ingredients I've got sitting over here. And 
to make a torso, you just run a shape like this. You put skin here and here, as well as here and here, and um, on the bottom as well, here and here. And then you just need some bones there, and there, there, and there. And then you're gonna need a heart right there, lungs right there, and those two spaces down in the middle down here, you are going to need your ingredient for your mob. So I'm gonna put spider eyes in there because I want a spider torso and you'll find out why in a little bit. And I've made my spider torso. So now I've got a squid head, I've got a spider torso. Next thing we're gonna do is make some legs. So you put your skin on the uh, left and right side just like this. And you put bones up here and down here as well. And you put your muscles right there, and then you fill in the legs with your other item, which is going to be ender pearls in my case, because I want nice tall legs. Uh-huh. I've got to have a tall minion. If my minions aren't tall, then, my goodness, what am I making a new minion for? It'll be the same as the other ones. The last thing you need is arms, and arms you make individually. You make two different arms. So I'm going to put this skin down like this in, a, in two rows. Okay, and then you just put some bones at the front and the back there, and some muscles right there, and then whatever ingredient you're going to need for your mob. So for me, I want a chicken. Oh, no, I must, it must be raw chicken, not feathers. Um, well, shucks. I guess I'm going to make a cow leg. Woo! Cows. Um, arm. Leg? Arm. Uh, squids do not have arms, apparently. So, let's go with a skeleton. Yeah, a cow arm and a skeleton arm. This is going to look derpy as all heck. <laughs> this is going to look terrible. Okay, so I'm just going to um, put on this diamond armor here and free up some space. And now, we have all four body parts, all five body parts that we need. We've got a head, legs, torso, and two arms. So what I want to do is I want to take my Necronomicon, here's the crafting recipe if you didn't catch it earlier, and I want to place it on this altar that I've built out of two cobblestone and one wood planks of any variety, and I just put the neck, just right click the Necronomicon right there, and I have turned it into an altar, a necromancy summoning altar. And the next thing that I'm going to need to do is put all my body parts and my soul and my blood up in here. So if I just grab my um, souls and put them on this side, and I grab my blood and put it on this side, put my head in, my arms, my torso, and my legs there, then you'll see that my um, creation has been stitched together and laid on the summoning altar. And now all I've got to do is hold shift and right click the summoning altar, just like this. And it'll say, craft me thy dark command. And that guy will pop up and it's supposed to remove all these parts. Okay, yeah, it did. Uh, if you're in creative mode, it doesn't, but it derped out for a second there. So this is Billy, everybody. Uh, Billy has a squid face. Don't say anything about his, uh, um, he hexagonal eye. Billy, what are you doing? Billy, back off. Oh my god, this is scary. Billy, you are the creepiest thing. I, uh, sit? Okay, yeah, sitting, walking. Okay, so I can either have him sitting or following me. Okay, that works. So he's like a dog, almost. Um... Your minions will attack hostile mobs. Your uh, necromancy summoning minions will attack hostile mobs. So you don't have to worry about that. Oh my. He's very tall, but he got through that door no problem. <laughs> um, there's also one other thing that you can do. If your um, minion has a spider torso, then you are actually going to be able to uh, put a... Um, saddle on the spider torso and ride your min minion around. Um, but you can't control them like a horse. You actually control them the same way as you do with pigs, except instead of a carrot on a stick, you need a brain on a stick made just like so. So I'm gonna run on out here. Well, let me grab my saddle. Where's my saddle? 
Uh, is it in there? No. Uh, over here? Yeah, okay. So let me grab this saddle real quick. Uh, that I found in the nether fortress in the last episode and let's put it on my minion here oh what the heck um dude your body got a little derped up there bud Billy man um can I ride you why why isn't this working can I ride you I should be able to mount and ride no not switch walk sit no uh, bah maybe I need to be me Turn into me. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. No. Oh, uh, what the heck? Oh, it worked. Now it didn't. So apparently you have to shift click, but it'll immediately dismount you because you're holding shift, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay, well, Billy, give me my saddle back. Give me my saddle back. I need my saddle. No, I didn't get my saddle back. Uh, oh, well, that's okay. So, that is the Necromancy mod. Um, I've had to dispose of Billy. But if you have any ideas for a funny-looking minion I could have chilling around my base, just post them in the comment section below. Tell me what body parts you want me to make them out of. Time for the Hall of Minions. Okay. So, we're here in the Hall of Minions today, and as you can see, I've got the Wall of Minions up now. So, instead of being in the book, you're on the wall. So, everybody is a part of the Hall of Minions, even if they haven't quite gotten their statue yet. Because I only do one or two statues every episode. And, um, speaking of one or two statues, actually, I've got two people that I'm going to do today. So... Yeah, I've got everybody up here on the wall of minions, and if your name is not up there yet, then I'm very sorry that I've missed you before this episode got started. Um, so you can just leave it in the comment section below. Make sure that it's um, accurate to the capitalization that is actually in your name, or else it won't work. And so I'm going to go ahead and get going on that there's uh like i said i'm gonna do two today and the reason that i'm putting two new hall minions into the hall today is because there are two people who have asked to be in the hall of minions but they've also given me a very nice professional tip that i would like to use so i'm gonna put both of them in immediately to thank them for giving me a helpful tip um if you know of anything that you've seen me do that I could be doing something better, you can leave me a tip as well. And maybe I'll uh, upgrade your uh, statue or something. So let me go ahead and make these guys real quick. And I will be right back in just a couple moments. So, here is Stealth Combo, and I can add one, two, three, and they are the newest additions to the Hall of Minions. And so, let me show you the tip that they gave me real quick. Yeah, they told me that if I shift, right click with the palette, I can actually reskin the statue to be the same as the actual skin. Um, instead of being made out of whatever material I made the statue out of. So, I've given them that special treatment right away for helping me out with some tips. Um, welcome to the Hall of Minions, guys. Uh, thank you. I'm also going to go ahead and grab Fred over here off of Ben and give him my uh, bone scythe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ben, you look like a badass now. Oh, look at that cool little skeleton head face thing. Oh, neat. Okay. So... Thank you guys, Stealth Combo, and I can add. Thanks for letting me know that I can uh, reskin these like this. Um, you guys look great, actually. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you look fantastic. So, thank you once again. I'm so glad that you guys let me know that because now I can offer it as another incentive for sharing my videos. If you guys don't want to be made out of gold, if you don't want to be made out of marble, then just keep sharing out my videos, 
Let me know that you want your skin to look like your skin actually looks, and I will do that. And then from there on, I will have to give you stuff like diamond items or whatever to show that you're helping out and being awesome. So keep sharing my videos out, everybody. You're doing such a great job. And if you'd like to be part of the Hall of Minions, if you'd like to join Iconad, Stealth Combo, Ty Sim 25, uh, Honey Buddy, Mr. Cool Whip, uh, Michael Will MC, Cub Fan, Peace Project, if you would like to join the Hall of Minions, then all you've got to do is share my video and comment down below that you have shared the video and that you would like me to put you in the Hall of Minions. Leave me your in-game name. Remember, this only works for PC players. So you've got to have a PC Minecraft account. Um, and just let me know that you would like to be in the Hall of Minions. Leave your name down below. Make sure it's appropriately capitalized. And I will get you up on the hall immediately. And put you in the, put you in the hall. So that is all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so, so much once again for joining me. And I've got just a couple of special messages to let you know about before I go. If you've watched all the way to the end of this episode, you are clearly one of my more devoted minions. And you are ready to do anything to help out my channel and keep my content coming. I'm so glad that there are people out there that are enjoying my content. It makes me overjoyed. As a matter of fact, I love the fact that you guys like my content. There is nothing more fulfilling to me than you guys enjoying the content that I'm putting out. I, I just love, I love putting it out for you guys. I love recording it. I have a great time. I love talking to you guys in the comments section. You know, I'm starting to talk to some other YouTubers, by the way. Um, guy named Jobu is uh, someone that I've talked to recently and um, we're thinking about doing a collaboration series and um, I can't really say too much about it it's kind of a secret right now but that's gonna be really exciting whenever we start working on it we still need to find a couple people but um, you know if you've got like if you've got like a thousand subscribers on YouTube by the way let me know and maybe you can be a part of it maybe not it's all up to Jobu really he's the one leading the front um, in that regard, but I've got just one more message that I want to share with you before I go today And that is that I have been recently playing a game called Pokemon Fusion Generation It's a fan-made Pokemon game that involves Pokemon Fusion fusing Pokemon together and then battling them and training them and uh, Using their custom move sets from the Pokemon that you fuse together to make really cool stuff happen And uh, I've been playing that series lately you can click Boom, right there to get access to it and watch it. I've got a couple episodes out right now, but um, there's also a free download there. So, once again, thank you everybody for watching. This has been Dr. Dark, and I am signing the heck out.